So I'm going to show you how to use the iterator component to generate um, multiple tabs. First I'm going to take a collection, in this case department, and I'm going to drop, again, drop it into the page as a table. Okay. We're not actually going to use the table, but what it gives me is the binding to the table, which is probably the easiest way to do it. What I'm actually interested in is a panel tab, and what I want to do here is I want to take the tabs and not physically create them, but uh, create them at runtime. So I'm going to switch into the code editor, and I'm going to go and take a component called the iterator and drop it over here. Okay. So the iterator has a value property, and for the value we're just going to copy the value of the table. Okay. So the value is actually a pointer to a collection. Right, so this is the collection of department that we have in here. And for short name we're going to call it row. Okay, so this would be the object for each one of those. Okay, we're going to remove the end tag here and put the end tag for the iterator just after the show detail item. We can reformat the page um, so we get the right indentation. Okay, so the text for each tab is not going to be a fixed text, but rather we're going to use an expression language and um, pointing to the row object and selecting, for example, the department name for each one. Like that. Okay, and then inside each tab we probably want to put some data, so again we're going to remove the closing tag, put it in a different line. And inside each tab, we're going to add, for example, an output text component. And for the value of each one of those, we're going to use, um, again, an expression pointing to the row object and whatever field we want to display. So it can be, for example, department name in one of those. And uh, we'll close the tag here, and we can then duplicate this line a couple more times and just change to show the department ID, for example. And again, using the code insight, you can get things like the location ID. Right. Let's save our page and run it. Oh, before we actually run it, one thing we don't need in the page anymore is the table. Right. So the table actually gives us the binding, and we want to keep this binding in place. This is why I'm going to go into the source editor and remove the table. When I do it this way, the binding is going to stay in place, as you can see here, right? And we're using the binding for the iterator component now. Let's run the page and see how it works. So we have multiple tabs, each one for a different department, and when we click on the tab, in each tab we can actually see the information about the department and we can jump to another department from here as well and that's the power of the iterator component